Hello, everyone. It's like, hello, everyone. <laughs> this is. Ah, that's right. So we have to do a proper opening because this is being filmed. Good morning, <laughs> everyone at home on Soul TV and everyone here. Um, I have to warn you that um, Tom and I have been moving for a few days now. And he told me his, his class was kind of wild. I have a feeling ours is going to be too, only because <laughs> we, had to pack and move. we had help from a bunch of community members. So thank you for that. Um, we spent 12 hours unboxing and moving her stuff out. Anyway, it's like, wow. But Tom said, maybe we should get subs today. And I said, no, I need yoga. <laughs> <laughs> so if you put up with me. Hey, guess what? And there's the other thing. This is metaphysics and masters. If anybody else, and he's not been here. I think we've got everybody who's been here before. We just pull someone. No? Oh. Welcome. Expect anything, <laughs> but we're glad you're here. <laughs> um, you know, so I thought I had this great idea for this morning, and um, I thought, great, now I don't have to focus on it because I'm moving and I can just keep unboxing. And then this morning, you know, th this class has an energy of its own and really, um, really felt the Holy One saying, guess what? We're going to change the schedule. You've got an hour. So here's the deal. Do you know, I didn't know, did you know today was Global Love Day? <laughs> Who knew? Right? Who knew? Apparently, check this out. Apparently, this has been going on since for about, um, well, Global Love Day. That should be every year, right? But it's um, since 2003. And um, here's the intention around it. Acknowledge, celebrate, and share the love we have within. This is a special day of recalling that love that, in, that is the link that binds us all. It is also the awesome power that heals and transforms everything it contacts. Now, isn't it true? I mean, that's, it's worth focusing on. So I said, okay, great. We'll, we'll go do what we were going to do this week, next week, since this is a vibration. This is a special day recalling that love that is the link that binds us all. It is also the awesome power that heals and transforms everything it touches. So we're going to move love through us. Each of us is a potent force of love when we allow this energy to express ourselves. There is nothing we ultimately have to do. Rather, we only need to allow ourselves to feel and be that love. It is that simple. Global Love Day is merely our way of saying, let's remember love is ours to be and share every moment of our lives. That was the intention around Global Love Day. Isn't that sweet? So we're going to, let's, uh, we'll get our class started. But here's the deal. Ultimately, what love is, is the divine creator and expressing so much wanting to experience its own love that it projected it out as a universe. So love is the fabric of all the universe and it's the creator penetrating and, and focusing its love in this earth plane. Again, so it can be re reflected back and we can experience love as objective and really we're one. So if that, if, if, if source is love, putting it simply, then everything that we consider to be love, our mates, our children, our expression in this world, a service, anything we love, including chocolate or, you know, that's, that's not love. That's expressions of love. So we'll focus on both this morning ultimate love, which is the source creator, which, is, which we are directly a part of. And let's celebrate all those ways which we express our sourceness in the things that we love and the way that we feel love. And maybe, just maybe, we can expand our definition of love a little bit more to realize love is what is. It's all that is, is love. The only thing that keeps us from 
feeling that is our fear. That energy, but what if? So, but what if? Right? Keeps us from the fear. I mean, the love in fear. So, and by the way, if, and if a question comes up this morning, if your mind says, yeah, but, that's fear. When the heart says, I'm open, let's dive in and see what happens. Let's take down the boundaries. That's source through us, the soul self. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to, and I don't know about you, but I feel like moving some energy this morning. And we're going to have um, a beautiful, one of our soul teachers, Vanessa, join us in a little bit. She's going to shake our booty kundalini-wise. We're going to, but we'll get her warmed up. Because she said yes, because I asked her three minutes ago. And she <laughs> said yes. So, she's not in white, so we have to visualize her in white. To teach Kundalini. Here we go. Sitting up nice and tall. <clears throat> Close your eyes for just a moment. And visualize your heart is a big old vault. The thickest, fattest one you've ever seen. Because that's where we've been storing our soul, the light. And we've been hiding it away because we are sensitive. And if we let that vault open, we're going to get hurt. So take five, only you have a combination to that lock. Even source does not have the combination to the lock of the vault of your heart. And just see yourself get in there, walk up to that big old, whether you have a push button one or when you turn, get to that lock, get the combination going, hear that click, and then take that heavy door and push it open. And let the sun in, the S-O-N and the S-U-N, let it in. Let the breeze in. Let the light in. Yeah, and together, let's take a deep inhale and feel as though all that energy being sucked into your heart. Hold it there. Allow your whole body now to, you're, you're out of the vault. You're in the sunlight. And exhale. Ah, there's no separation between the love that you've been carrying and hiding and the source love. Inhale. Breathe it in. Take it in. Your whole auric field is filling up with it. Exhale. Push out all of what your parents or your teachers told you. That box you had to get into. Inhale. Speaking for Tom and I, we have been getting out of the box for the past 12, 24 hours. Breathe in. Exhale. Let it go. Let's all get out of the box. As we get rid of our stuff. Inhale. Now this time, hold it a little bit. Let your shoulders come down, your heart open, and know that that, pe that piece of source that is love is you and me and everyone in this room. Exhale. There is no separation. Nothing is outside of the love. Inhale. And hold the energy in your heart. Global Love Day. Who knew? We'll celebrate. Exhale. Let it go. One more time. Inhale. Hold that breath. We're going to hold it a little bit longer. Let the heart work a little harder. Let the lungs work. Strengthen those babies so we can hold more energy. Exhale. Now relax for a moment with your gaze turned to the third eye. And visualize just in a moment your whole day your whole week, your whole life just saturated in love. Love, having you discover love was the purpose of everything you've ever been through and will be through, go through. Can you remember love when fear comes up? And fear will come up, so we're not going to deny it. We're just going to say, hello, you're not truth. Let our whole time together this morning be that discovery that we are love and everything is love. And let's celebrate it on a global level. Take a deep inhale. Pull up, move on, squeeze rectum, sex organs, navels, in and up. Squeeze, allowing that love to go all the way to the crown chakra. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, apply move on, squeeze rectum, sex organs, navel, squeeze in and up. Exhale, come on down. One more time. 
Inhale. So we're taking the root chakra energy, bringing it to the crown as we squeeze. We're bringing heaven and earth together. Exhale. <coughs> Good. Inhale your heart, your hands in front of your heart. And are lacing your fingers like this. Let's move a little energy around, opening up the heart center. We inhale, exhale. And what we'll do here, usually get our little, the greatest nation in the world, imagination, feel. The pumping in of universal love energy into your heart. <laughs> Expanding. If we can expand the heart chakra using this cosmic energy coming in from the crown, coming in and moving through our palm chakras. We can hold on to love when fear wants to take over. And relax. Palms down. As your left elbow comes in, you inhale. Up, come when it comes up, inhale. As you exhale, the right elbow goes up. So it's. Good. And the hands are basically staying in front of the Anahata Chakra. They're not flowing around like a mystical dancer. They're right here. And if there's anything that comes up that feels like fear, that feels like com confusion, that feels like if you're in pain for someone else, if you're worried about someone else, remember that's an expression of love. It's not love. Love is knowing that ultimately that person, whether they're going through an operation right now, whether they're having a baby, whether they were just in a car accident or just got a very serious, um, what do you call that? Diagnosis, thank you. See, that's love. I can forget a word and you remember. Whether, just trust, if you trust that they're divinely guided, that love is guiding their course, you stay out of fear. A few more. And relax. Take your hands to the earth. Feel love for the earth. We just completed Earth Day. We want to always remember her. Inhale. Rectum, sex organs, navel, come in and up. Squeeze, lengthen. Exhale, bring it down. Ah. And express yourself in your yoga class. Inhale. Do, do it a little bit different than you've ever done before. Express, squeeze, lengthen, bring it down. Ah. Now, inhale, your arms behind you. Exhale, round. Inhale. <sighs> Just open that heart up. It's so interesting to me that energetically speaking, the arms and the hands, that part of us that expresses affection is ruled by the communication center and the heart center. Let's juice it up just a little bit. Inhale, exhale. Okay. And bring it down and roll your shoulders. Forward and back. Get them going. Matter of fact, bring you, get your sh arms and hands and do it. Roll it. Oh, we've been carrying boxes. <laughs> I feel like I have an elf and Ganesha is sitting on my shoulders. Reverse. Ah. Okay. Elbows, arms, elbows, arms. And say hello to the person next to you. <laughs> Don't mind, this is just an expression of love. <laughs> we become Mo, Larry, and Curly. Now, some of you young ones, does everybody know Three Stooges? Or they do now. They do now. <laughs> it's back? Oh, okay. And relax. Woohoo. Is it just me? Or does that hurt the shoulders? <laughs> Not hurt. Stimulate. Legs open. 
Okay, just stretch it out. So, you don't mind, oh good, thank you. You don't mind if I groan a little bit. I am so sore. <laughs> it's a good thing I do yoga. Huh, is it all of us? Stretch it out. Okay, take your heart center. Actually, let's warm it up a bit. Inhale. Left arm in, right arm over. Inhale, bring it up, stretch it up. We're making our bodies temples. Exhale, temples of love. All right, the energy from this class will go all around the world heal healing. Don't pay any attention. Oh, I shouldn't say that. That's an ultimate statement. Pay, pay very little attention to what's going on in the world. Bring it up. Exhale down. Focus on let's generate love. Now we're going to take... My wires are a little stucky. Okay. To heart center toward the left knee. Inhale deeply. Now just slide your left hand down as your heart goes toward your knee. We're just warming up. Inhale up. Exhale center. Inhale up. Right arm. Inhale up. So just breathe it for a moment. Inhale and exhale. We are moving toward the light. Earth is going up. You know this. Earth is going up. Whether we join her or not is our choice. She's coming, you know, she's, she's tired of having a humanity on her that's been living in fear. And in that fear, we protect. Right? What's ours? And do one more set. She wants us to love and share what's ours. Inhale up. Interlace your fingers. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, come around. Inhale back. Use these bellies. Exhale. Inhale. Sit up tall and round it. Just generating some love. And you know what? You know what it takes to love sometimes? Or I should say this is an expression of love. You know what it takes to express love? Will. So we're going to be working on our will center. Exhale. Those of us who have been married for oh, quite a while or have children in the teenage years, in the young adult years, even in the young years, don't you have to, have you find yourself needing to generate love sometimes? Unconditional love? If that's another thing that helps us open our heart center. If everything was easy, we wouldn't stretch it. Inhale, come on up. Bring your feet together. Grab, let's see, let's stretch it out. Grab your left toe and stretch it out. Everybody in our life that's a little bit challenging right now, you can move it is just getting us to there to open our hearts a little bit more. Let's bring the right knee in, the left leg over. Now get your, this sits bone down. Remember, if this does not feel good, take the right leg and extend it long. If you can't get this sits bone down, this right leg should be long. Left hand behind you. And the foot